Hey, pimp. Pimp. Hey. We're going to go up to Onyx Summit right now, you guys. Right, pimp? It's 37 degrees right here. The top left is what we're looking at right now, 37 degrees. And that uh, it, it was just 37.2 just five minutes ago. So we're going to head up to Onyx Summit and find some snow. Woohoo! All right, you guys. We just left my house. We're on the corner of Moon Ridge and Big Bear Boulevard. And we are going to drive up to Onyx Summit. It feels like it's clearing out above us a bit. It kind of looks like it's clearing out above us. But obviously, I'm not going to upload this if we don't run into any snow. But my goal is to go find the snow. So hang on. Here's my goal. So we're going to go all the way. This is going to be a long one, guys. This is going to be a long one. But it should be fun. Should be fun. I'm hoping. It's been a long day up here. What a great day, though. Love spending time with you guys. You guys mean so much to me. I really appreciate everything. I look so forward to doing these videos. I, I, it's crazy. Like, yeah, I look forward to the storms and stuff. But I look just as forward to to making these, knowing that you guys enjoy them too. I'm telling you, man. I'm I am so happy. I am so happy because of you guys. And yes, I still have a long way to go, but I just don't know where I'd be without you guys in my life. So once again, I tell you guys this every single time. It seems like because it means that much to me that you guys know what impact you have on me. So we're at 36 degrees. I'm sorry, 37 degrees. And we're headed to the side of town that I always say gets a lot or gets less precipitation. Right? Don't I say that? Part of the Big Bear snow rule. Well, we are going to that side of town to find snow, believe it or not. But we're not going like to the. Uh, when we get to the end of town, we're we're going to be heading towards towards the mountain range, towards the towards the big mountains, and then we're going to be driving up that way. So that's that's why we might encounter some snow. Oh look, it just got up to 38 degrees. What is going on here? I mean, I mean, come on. I really wish there was ice and snow out here right now. So much more fun driving. So much more fun driving. Look at how beautiful that looks. I'm just gonna rest the phone on the damn steering wheel here for a second. All right, never mind. It's crazy, guys. I like switch hands like every five minutes. <laughs> But I really enjoy doing it. When I first was doing this, like when when you guys first brought me my first camera, I had a crappy, crappy camera. It was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks that I did for my first few videos. You guys freaking, one of you named Melissa, I, I believe it was while, while backer, while backer, I believe Melissa and her husband Dominic. She drove up to Bear Mountain when I was working there and gave me, back when the GoPro Hero 5 was brand new, she, she, she gave me a, a brand new GoPro Hero 5 from Best Buy with the receipt for the cash and everything. I just, I, I, imagine how shocked I was. Like, I mean, I'm still shocked when I get any donations today. I, I really am. But to have my very first donation of my life, something like that, um, I could not believe it and she is she's she's a really nice lady we've kind of fallen out of touch um i hope i hope you're okay melissa i hope you and dominic are doing well i hope you and dominic are doing well but yeah that was super cool gave me like a really nice camera i couldn't believe it i still can't believe that I still can't believe what you guys do for me. I couldn't be more thankful, I'll tell you that. I'm always counting my lucky stars and always just, man, I'm just thanking my lucky stars every single day that I do something that makes some people happy and, and it gives them knowledge in terms of like visual information. Well, I, I know a lot of you come up here a lot and, um, I know these videos can't help because the, the weather forecasts and the meteorologists down at our our news stations, it it always seems like they always overstate what we have. Always. I've never ever heard them say there's not really any new snow up there. 
don't bother, and then a bunch of people show up and there's a foot more snow than they said. That's never happened, ever. It's always, yeah, Big Bear Mountain just got three feet of new snow. All you skiers and snowboarders, get your stuff and get up there. And then you get up here and then it's like, they neglected to tell you that the, the three feet of brand new snow is at the top of Snow Summit, like another 1,200 feet up. So it, it, it's just frustrating, it's just frustrating. It really is. And I know that this is so much, so much more, uh, I don't know, reliable. Because you're seeing it with your own eyes. And it's in high quality too. This is an iPhone 12 Plus Pro Max Mega. And it's uh, 512 gigabytes. And, let's see, let's see. Um, and 4K. So we are rocking and rolling. Okay, let's get on these brights so we can see a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. After it rains, just how clear clear the sky is when I have my brights on, it's so nice. But I can't have my brights on for a little bit here. So I'm hoping this works out for us, guys. This would be a good quarter tank of gas wasted. It's never a waste though. It's never a waste. I'll always go out of my way to make sure that I can do what I obsess over. And especially for you guys. Once again, thank you guys for all the support you guys show, all the love, all the kindness. It's, I wish I had words that could explain how I feel and what impact you've had on my life. Man, 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 man. <clears throat> I hope each and every single one of you is doing well, staying healthy, being there for your loved ones, and just trying every day to be the best person you can be. I try, but I, I struggle a lot. I struggle a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice having you guys there for me. It really is. All right, let's get our brights back on. So this is the side of town that hardly gets any weather compared to where I live. If we keep on going straight, we already did this drive earlier. We went through Baldwin during the live feed, I believe. So, yeah, unfortunately... Well, fortunately, we're not going through there again. We are going up here. This is Highway 38 now, you guys. This is one of the three main entrances and exits into town from the bottom of the mountains. This will drop you off in a little town called Mentone. I believe it's called Mentone. Right next to Redlands. good 15 minutes to go so but I want you guys to see how far I'm driving for for us I, I freaking love you guys man like I want you guys to really experience what it's like as if you guys were at the house with me chilling drinking some hot cocoa and then we decided to get up and go for for a little winter drive so yeah hope you guys are enjoying yourselves make sure you have your seatbelts on though <laughs> yeah that wasn't funny <laughs> my phone there's a rain alert it says rain will begin at 7 33 p.m but that's over here in big bear city
excited. Hopefully we get a little bit of schnur. Schnur, schnur. Some schnur, schnur. Schnur, schnur. Temperature's 36 degrees, it is falling as we are climbing slowly but surely. We're gonna start a big portion of the climb in about a mile. So look, it's 36 down here in Big Bear City. Hope you guys can see that. And I'm hoping we can uh, just keep falling rapidly. Oh, is that a star up there? It is a star, I don't wanna see any stars. Is this snow? Dude, no way, dude. No freaking way, it's snowing. <laughs> dude, I knew if I came out here, we'd get some snow. So we're gonna keep driving up higher just to get more snow. Oh my God, guys. It's freaking snowing, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, I'm so happy. I love it. I love it. It's freaking snowing. I cannot believe it. Let's get up here a little faster, guys. Oh, look, there's snow on the side of the road here. What in God's name is going on here? And I don't have my snow tires. Shoot, I forgot about that. I gotta get them put on tomorrow. My friend who owns a shop up here, I switch my tires out every six months. From my really good street tires to my really good snow tires. Guys, there's snow on the side of the road here. Oh my goodness. They got snow over here. Can you guys see on the right side of the road and the left side, there's snow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, we're going a little bit fast. 35 degrees, folks, 35. We're going fast because I don't have my snow tires on. Even though it's not gonna make much of a difference on like thick ice, we don't, there's no ice here, I'm just, Oh my gosh, dude, it's snowing. I cannot believe it, it's snowing. Oh my God, look at her butt. It's snow big. There we go. And we are flying. I'm, I'm only going uh, 59, speed limit's 55, so I'm not going that fast, but in these conditions, guys, I don't suggest, oh shit. Dude, what is this? You know what, I'm gonna see if, Road clo oh, it's road closed. Okay. They had big rock slides. That's right. I didn't think they were they were gonna close it all the way up, all the way down here. It's it's a good thing that they put signs closer, so people don't have to drive all the way out here. Well, guys, we found snow. We found freaking snow. Look, we're we're, we're gonna play in the snow real quick. Woo! Hang on, hang on. We found snow. This is this is what we're getting tonight, guys. So let's just come out here and. Make a snowball. That's a dirt ball, but it's still snow. Guys, we got some snow. And it's snowing in front of my car. And it smells so good. Guys, I should just blow right by that guy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am just kidding. But look, it's 34 now. See, we were getting temperatures dropping. Man, this is sad though. I mean, it's good we found snow. How cool is that, guys? Like, how many times have I pulled that off? Where we don't get any snow in town, but then I drive elsewhere and I'll find it. Man, that's why it's so cool being like right on the snow line, like every storm almost. Like, like we're like right there, you know? So it's super cool. I wish we were at mammoth elevation though, so we could be in the snow line 99% of the season. But yeah, we just found snow. Snow! No! Snow! All right, take a chill pill, Nick. You're gonna drive these people crazy. She drives me crazy, ooh, ooh, like no one else. <laughs> You guys remember that song? She drives me crazy and I can't hear my shame. <laughs> 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 
Fine Young Cannibals. That's right. That's who that was. <laughs> she drives me crazy. <laughs> Like no one else. Alright, that's enough. Oh, seriously. You guys are gonna just probably send me some psychiatrists instead of donations. <laughs> seriously. Oh, man. But I'm glad that I have the ability to get happy like this because there's so much misery in everyday life. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you, one day I'm gonna be doing these videos and you're not going to hear me complain once and I want you guys to know that's going to be all because of you guys obviously I got to give myself a little credit for having the courage to like to face these things and just be be, be grateful for what I've got and not ungrateful for what I don't have <laughs> you know what I'm saying and I'm not talking material things I'm talking about my family and stuff that's why you guys are my family I've accepted that in a very good 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 way Okay, look at this. So, we're opening the window. Look at the sky over Big Bear Lake. Look at how bright that looks. It drives me crazy. All right, so. And my good friend Char lives right here, like on this street right here. But we have to get into the neighborhood way down here. She's so nice. Hi, Char. Char, Char, Char. Okay. Oh, turn on your brights, you BS. There we go. Look at how much brighter that makes it. That is B E A beautiful. It's still 34 degrees. It's gonna get up to 35 now. Damn it! Right before I said that, it was it changed before I could say something. So I'm gonna tell you guys, it, it it'll get back to 36 by the time we, we we get back to my house. You know what we're gonna do? You know what? No, we're not. I just had the car washed. I'll do it when we have a good snowstorm. I'll go through Moonloaf. Like no one is. She drives, she drives me, me. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I just sounded like Beavis and Butthead right there. Um, that was my favorite show growing up, by the way, when I was in my little favorite cartoon when I was like, I don't know, maybe 12, 13, 14, because it was so just risque. It was like, wow, this is a cartoon, holy moly. Hearing cartoon characters say like, I'm gonna kick your ass, like, that was the coolest thing for me ever. <laughs> so I, 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 just, oh, I, I just loved it. I thought I was a rebel because I was watching cartoons with curse words. Cartoons. Cartoon. Spittoon. And I wake up. I think I'm gonna be in a blue one. Oh gosh, stop it, Nick. And I. <laughs> All right, that's enough. So we found snow and it snowed. I mean, I don't want you guys to be upset. We did the best that we could and we found snow when I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the population up here didn't see any snow today. We did and the people who were just recently driving from Highway 38, apparently there's a huge rock slide. Our good friend Gabriel Magana from this channel, guys, he was my first really good friend on this channel. Um, I was shocked that like he would contact me and and leave comments and like happy to see what I'm doing and wanted to meet me they, every year except last year they've driven all the way from like the LA area to to bring me tamales they make them fresh and they bring them for Christmas time for me um, he got me an annual pass to the zoo he got me an off-roading map um, he's got they, they've done so much kind so many kind things for me and so, Gabriel, I love you, man. I, I really, 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 really appreciate our friendship. I hope everything's going good with Nora. I hope the girls are good. Um, and I hope you're good, bro. He also sent me um, a notice this morning about uh, closure we're supposed to have tomorrow. Guys, 
this is the kind of people you guys are. Like, you guys are so considerate. You're so considerate. Sometimes it makes me feel like I am so selfish. Because there's so many different people doing something for me, always, is what it, it, it feels like. And it's, it's like, I want to do back for every single person doing for me. Yeah. Man, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Beyond. Grateful and beyond! Oh, we're out of here. So we're gonna go through Moon Ridge and drive through Upper Moon Ridge to get home. Maybe we'll catch a little bit of snow there as well, okay guys? Maybe not necessarily falling from the sky, but maybe. This is our last hope. This is our last hope. And guys, how awesome am I for pulling that off of what we just did right now? If you guys look last year, there was one storm where I had to go completely to the top of, of Onyx Summit and then it just started snowing at the summit. And so I found snow and I was so excited. And I've done that like three, three times now, four times. It seems like every time I've tried, I've come up successful. And these are all the storms that are like saying that if it's gonna rain most, most of the storm, we might get a, t a tiny bit of snow at the very end. So I know for every, every thousand feet up in, in elevation directly above wherever you're at, is typically typically gonna be you can you can vary from like I think two and a half to seven degrees per thousand feet. So Onyx Summit is about fifteen hundred feet high or sixteen hundred feet higher than I'm living. So you figure, let's just use the the lowest the lowest averages. That would be like I don't know four degrees a, a four degree difference up there, which that would have brought snow today too. So. I wanted to make sure that we at least got a chance to go up there. Um, obviously, you guys saw we tried, but we got turned around. But I did find snow, and we went and played in the snow for a minute. <laughs> and I'm not wearing a jacket or pants or anything. Well, I'm wearing shorts. There's, there's no hot dog sale going on. But, yeah, I am wearing shorts. Um, let's see here. Uh, what was I saying? Who knows? I'm always saying something. What in the heck am I trying to say? I'm loving you guys. <laughs> I can't wait to meet a lot of you guys. I've met a lot of you already um, over the past seven years doing this. And I'm looking forward to meeting a lot more of you. At first, I was really nervous, you guys, because I was like, why would these people like me? Why would they want anything to do with me? Like, my family doesn't like me, so why would they like me? Um, a long story with my family I've realized it, it's because they're they're jealous of me for some odd freaking reason and they, they have no, no ambition in life to do anything and so they use me as their scapegoat to put themselves up on, on a pedestal and, and and because they are my siblings that's that's fine that's fine because I don't I don't rely on anybody I don't rely on a soul and so yeah it's I love you guys man I love you guys so what we have turn left here we're gonna take the back way into to Moon Ridge. To Spoon Ridge. Hang on a second, I'm gonna turn this off for a minute so I can get a sip right, of water. As soon as I took a sip of water, the light turned green, but we just, we're passing Motel 6 right now. We're gonna to have to stay there too, you guys. I, I didn't mean to say it like that, but we're gonna to have to stay there because I want you guys to see every single place here. I want you guys to, seriously, like, you guys are gonna be shocked, but less than 15% of people ever return to Big Bear. You heard me right. Less than one five percent ever return after their first trip. Um, I found that I thought that was kind of crazy because I'm a skier, and but this was at the orientation for working at at Bear Mountain and Snow Summit, and Mammoth and and Aspen owned them all and stuff. So or, during orientation, we spent most of the orientation like telling people like like you got to show them um, like the uh, Big Bear something like like Big Bear Love or like something like that. We have to treat them well. And the reason people do not end up staying or I mean coming back is because of things like I said earlier. When they're watching the news, it says there's a lot more snow and then they get up here and there's not. When we get snowfall, it takes hours to get here from just the bottom of, of the mountain. And a lot of people take time off of work so they're not getting paid. And then they're spending money to be here 
And then most of you have children with you too. So, and look, kids are, are don't take, I'm not talking smack. I'm, I'm just saying like, uh, if, if you got some rambunctious ones with you, that three hours just from the bottom of the mountain sometimes can be very daunting. Um, pulling over all the time to use the restroom, get snacks, get food, stressing out on the scary drive. Um, when, when you get here, paying like uh, it, just a, a usurious amount of, of money for a hotel because it's snowing and they know that you're not going to leave, so just charge as much as you can. Um, it, it just seems like, it, it seemed like a town that didn't quite understand that tourism is what makes this town go around. And it's always frustrated me. Um, it's like, without you guys, none of us can live here. Not even the pompous, angry people can live here. So like, I'm super grateful for you guys. I am super grateful for you guys. Tourists make this town what it is. There is zero chance I live here without you guys. With, with, without these ski resorts, guys, I don't think anybody lives up here. I really don't, unless you're a multi-millionaire who's retired and you and you send like your butler down to go get food at the grocery store in like freaking Redlands or something. But yeah, so those are a few of the many issues with this, this town according to, well, th th that's, that's everything that I thought, guys. But that when I was at the, the orientation for Bear Mountain, when I worked there, they confirmed all of that. And so, oh no, it's called the Big Bear Way. They want us all to treat you guys with the Big Bear Way, which is just love, respect, patience, and stuff like that. Um, and when they said less than 15% of people return, I mean, I, I, at first, when I wasn't thinking about it, I was like, you're crazy, that's such BS. It's gotta be at least 50%, at least come back. But, um, yeah, it's, 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 the truth of the matter is it's really not that many people who return. Um, it's 15%. I thought people would come back because I love it and I love the snow. That's all I would think about my whole life as a kid was snow. And uh, like, I just, I, I couldn't believe that it'd be 15% or less return because of how they're treated up here. Can you guys believe that? So as I said, once again, when I open my Airbnb, eventually I'm telling you guys, man, you guys are going to have the greatest experience. And I'm not saying this is everybody, but I've experienced it myself. You guys, I've experienced it myself. It, it, it's, it's about how to get as much out of the, the tourists as possible with saving as much money as possible in, in, at the same time. And I don't, I don't play that game. I want you guys to have the experience of a lifetime where you're gonna remember this place and have lifetime, lifelong memories with your family and everybody um, instead of having lifelong memories of like that place was weak, never going back and stuff because that's what a lot of people say. Um, another issue that they mentioned at the orientation was that when people come up here also, um, typically for their first times, they don't have winter weather clothing. Like they have jackets, but just like for like beach weather jackets in the winter time. So they have to get like really expensive stuff. There's nothing really cheap guys. They, they have to get really expensive stuff. Um, jackets, pants, thermals, goggles, beanies, earmuffs, like all this stuff. Um, which just, just the, for the cheapest set of all of that is probably like 120 bucks for like something that's gonna keep you warm. Like the cheapest, and you won't find it for that cheap up here, I, I guarantee you. But like, so there's that. And then also the amount of time it, it takes to like get into the ski resort, even while you, you're already here, you gotta wait in all the traffic. And uh, I'm telling you guys, like a lot of people really, 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 really stress out. And then you get to the mountain and then you pay over a hundred dollars. And if you've never skied, you're going to be spending money for like lessons, especially if you have kids. And then a lot of people, when they fall down their first time, because <clears throat> they didn't have everything on perfectly, they might get a little snow underneath some of their clothes. And then that just ruins their whole day and they never want to do it again. I, I mean, guys, I, I know this is taking a lot of you by surprise, but this is the absolute truth. And look at the snow up here. Look at Upper Moon Ridge. What? So yeah, guys, it, it's, it's, there are, look at the street has snow. It must've just snowed. The roofs have snow. Um, 
I, I didn't think we'd have snow right here. I, I thought Onyx would would be our best bet because it's so much higher up. But look at this, man. Holy moly. We're going to play in the snow again. But yeah, guys, so that's why less than 15% of people ever return. And once again, I'm not like trying to argue or, or debate this. It's an absolute fact. It's an absolute fact. I, I've, I've had people in the past say, oh, dude, that's not true. That's not true. Like, how would the town stay open? Well, well, well dude, it's, 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 it's very true. This, is, this town runs off of tourism, and they keep meticulous data. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a sad thing, but I think I can contribute and do a lot like like one day I'd like to run for some sort of office up here um, and try to help our town I have nothing to gain except seeing this place just turn into a more beautiful place look at this snow look at this freaking snow hang on that's insane I can't believe we got snow I wish I had my snow tires on So yeah, those are the things that people, those are the issues they end up running into, the fact that you're taking time off of work. Spending money when you're not, not working. The long drive, the time off of work. Um, just all the money spent up here. Um, all the gouging that can go on when we have snow. It's, it, and guys, look, I love my town. I'm, I'm not trying to in any way hurt my town, okay? But I love you guys a ton, and I don't want you guys to have any awful surprises when you guys come up here. Just be aware. Just be aware, that's all. Just be aware. All right, guys, we're turning right here. I can't believe there's snow. Look at this car. Well, we didn't get any at my house. How crazy is that? We're, we're in Upper Moon Ridge, and I didn't get any snow. You know what? We're gonna, just going to park right here and just go make a snowball real quick. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, snowballski. Yeah. And some, oh wait, hang on. Look, look, I got the snowballs. I got the snowballs. Very cool. I'm gonna throw it right at my hood. That sucked. <laughs> wow, this road is so slippery right now. Guys, we found snow. We found snow. I am the coolest person ever. Ever. And I, I really am excited about this. But I picked the wrong road to drive down without my snow tires. This isn't this isn't good. So we're gonna lower the gear significantly. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. So, also, a little hint on how to drive in this type of weather when we have, like, a good amount of snow. When you see the tire tracks, depending on how cold it is, you're going to want to not go in the same tracks. <clears throat> because when people follow the same tracks, you're packing down the snow, and it's going to turn into ice. And it's, it's, it's going to be dangerous. So that's why when there's fresh snow... Instead of me staying in this, in these two tire paths, I'll just go in the middle. So I'm, I'm, I, so I, I'm creating my own path. You'll have much more grip, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I can't believe the snow, bro. Oh, look at that house, man. I want to go up there. I want. Oh my god, that's huge. I want to stay there. I want to be stereotyped. I want to be classified. I wanna... Dude, the adolescents and the angry Samoans played up here at the cave last weekend. I cannot believe it. For those of you who love punk rock and grew up on punk rock, yeah, the angry Samoans and the adolescents were here. Unbelievable. I wanna be stereotyped. I wanna be classified. Now look, see, stupid place to park a trailer right here when there's weather like this, um, because like a uh, good chance it's gonna get hit. 
obviously they probably weren't expecting any snow but for future reference you guys just be extremely careful when there's snow out here when parking on the side of the road um and don't oh let's see we're, we're gaining too much speed here if i had my snow tires i'd be more confident I'm telling you guys look we're not we're like a mile from my house look at all the snow here there will be no snow at my house that's just the crazy cool thing though oh look at that mansion way up there hang on look at that at the very top you see those lights wave oh my gosh guys this is awesome oh this is so beautiful and when you go i hear and then oh my goodness you guys what a day what a day can you guys believe i've been doing this for seven years now i haven't missed a single weather event up here now when it comes to summertime stuff my first couple summers up here, I didn't really record many thunderstorms. I, I I recorded a couple when they'd be like right outside my house, but I was trying to record all the all the the winter weather, and then my OCD kicked in a couple years later, and I had to get every bit of weather that comes through. Uh, that's why I'll never take vacations in the winter time, because I have to book them like a month in advance at least for for a lot of them, and um, I can't do that because when I go like. When I went to visit my dad back in February, like I had to book the flight and it was a first class ticket too. How cool is that? I had to book the flight like a week out, maybe five days out from when I was actually going to go see him and, and I spent four days. And in the, in the two week forecast, there was absolutely nothing going to happen. It was for sure. There was no chance of any surprise. So I went, but I will not miss any weather up here. Like I, I would, I couldn't live with myself, man. I would probably like just quit doing this altogether if I missed one freaking thing. Like I'd be beating myself up so bad about that. Yeah, I would probably just stop doing it altogether, which is kind of weird. But I know I wouldn't. But I'm just trying to make a point. Okay, there's some snow here too. As we're going lower and lower. You know what? How, how funny would that have been if right when we left, the snow started at my house. So. When we get back to my house, if there's snow there, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of giggle a little bit. There shouldn't be. Uh, let's see here. So we're getting lower. There's still snow over here. Guys, we drove all the way to the Onyx side of town. We didn't even get near Onyx Summit, but we saw snow, thankfully. But we didn't need to go all the way over there. I honestly thought, though, it would be a guarantee. It, it, there, there'd be zero issues finding snow there. Um, if it was going to fall from the sky. I didn't expect to see snow on the ground. That was unexpected, just like this. I expected to maybe drive into a little bit of weather falling from the sky. And we did capture a little bit of snow falling over where we got turned around. So that's good. And I think I just saw another snowflake. I think I tore. Look at those clouds. And then it's clear up there. But look at those clouds right there. Gosh, that is so cool. Looks so angry. Like the angry Samoans. Yes. Yes. see any snow anymore how weird is that it's like right when you drive into upper moon ridge that's when the snow appears but everywhere else there is nothing this is incredible this is incredible wow 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 you see how dark it is with with my lights off just for a second no, that's not bad Sometimes it is so dark out here. Yeah, guys, we're out of the snow completely. This is unreal. 
Isn't that amazing, guys? We drive two blocks one direction and there's snow on the ground everywhere. But coming back into my area, there's absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is so incredible. Holy moly. I, I, I hope you guys realize how cool that is. Like, if you don't want snow, huh? you don't have to have it. But if you want some, I just drive a block. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I love you all very much. Thank you for everything, as always. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being there with me. Always. Hang on a sec. What is this here? always leaving me the most wonderful comments and just showing me so much love and respect. I can't begin to even explain to you guys how much that means to me. So thank you. And uh, yeah, look guys, in this neighborhood there is zero snow. There is absolutely zero snow. This is craziness. All right guys, I love you very much. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think that's snow right there to the right. Oh no, that's that's not snow at all. That's just the reflection of the blue lights. Oh, guys, much love and respect. I'm gonna head back out of here, but this is it for the video. I love this little spot in here. It's really peaceful. You guys take care.